Starting from Scratch is brought to you by Nikon. Arguably the hottest product that Crimson Trace offers right now is its new link system for like AR platforms, long guns, and uh, it's unique to the industry, right? It, there's nothing else out there it like is. it. It is, there's nothing even close. Yep. Yeah. Now I am familiar with the link for the AR. It's been out a couple of years. I've yeah. had one on a carbine as well. And now you've got one for the AK-47 type rifle. That's right. right? Uh, LNQ 103G fits yep. AK type rifles. Uh, also fits Springfield Armory M1A uh, SOCOM CQB. Awesome. Yeah. Now that G at the end of it means that it's a green laser, correct? That's correct. Now, does the link feature the same intuitive activation that Crimson Trace is known for? It does. It does. So anything that you're familiar with as far as our pistol lasers with instinctive activation, you're going to get the same thing with link. Sure. Now, the interesting thing about uh, you know the link and all your products is that intuitive activation it goes back to the beginning of Crimson Trace. Back, you guys started in 1994, obviously. It does. And uh, I remember this one. You know, we've got a, basically a, a Beretta 92 style or an M9 style uh, grip with a simple uh, pistol grip type of, uh, yeah. uh, you know. With dual side activation, so Correct. it would handle essentially like a pistol in the kind of the earlier days of the, the foregrip. Sure, yeah. and it would just clamp onto the bottom of a Picatinny quad rail at the time. That's right. Right. Yeah. And then at what point did you guys really started thinking about, uh, you know, getting that laser forward out there? I mean, we've got the 515. Yeah, that's yeah. so that that's correct. I mean, it's it's all about really paying attention to um, how carbine users are are wanting to deploy sure. lasers. So obviously with the the, the five one five modular vertical foregrip, right? So also instinctive activation. So yep. get that out there on the rail. You've got a light end laser built right. in. Right. And so. then you've got this little eighth grade project I see here. <laughs> it looks like something I would have made when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah. Uh, is this sort of what it looks like before you have a a final product. So obviously, kind of a kind of a natural progression um, as we're as we're really looking at trends and and which products to develop and right. how users are going to deploy them. Um, so I mean, with with this this product right here, I don't even know what the moniker would have been right. for it. But, but it kind of looks like an angle foregrip. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, an angle foregrip married with a stubby exactly. unit in there. Also trying to deploy instinctive activation. Sure. Now another interesting thing with the link is that we've got a radio transmitter that uh, is. So we're sending a signal from this pistol grip to, uh, you know, what looks like a, a rail mount uh, up here. And what is, how did we get here? Because we have some prototypes. We do. So, I mean, obviously these are some early prototypes of the, of the Link system. Right. Um, which, I mean, has been in development for the greater part of 10 years. Sure. Uh, from initial concepts to initial designs to um, a lot of testing. Right. I mean, years of testing, uh, and it, it had to match our, our standards. Sure. So, so I can see ergonomics was a huge focus because right there by the joint on my thumb, you've got a mode cycling control, right. you know, and then you've got your uh, in, intuitive activation That's exactly uh, right. up here on the front, and then you've got a master on and off on the left side of the pistol grip as well. Correct. Uh, so Which means you could power, well. essentially power down the link system and run the module as a standalone if, sure. if you wanted to. Sure. So. Well, there you have it, Crimson Trace Link. It is simple, safe, and secure.